What's up y'all? In this video, I share with you guys what I keep in my street photography bag. What's up everybody? If you're new to the channel, I make videos for digital media students, teachers, and creatives. I've been thinking of making this video for quite a while. As you know from the title, it's a what's in my camera bag video. I binge watch these videos because they're fun, but it also pulls back the curtain on what that particular creative feels is important. And today I actually share what I keep in my camera bag. I'll walk you through everything that I use and why I use it and the thoughts behind it. Drop me a line down in the comments if you have any questions about what I'm sharing. So over the years, camera companies have been battling it out to get our attention and our money. And what you carry in your bag says a lot about you and where you are in the creative journey. So many choices, right? We have so many choices. What camera bag, what lens? Maybe you have multiple lenses. Maybe you wanna be minimalist and you wanna carry one lens. But in this bag, I've decided to prioritize photography. So let's jump right into what's in the bag. So the first thing up on my kit is the X100V. And this camera is a very unassuming camera. It takes up minimal space, so it's a total joy to take everywhere. This camera inspires me to shoot, and that's the most important. I have a separate video on this camera because it deserves its own time. And if the video is done by the time you watch this video, I'll place that cue card on top. So next on the kit is the multi-tool. I carry my multi-tool everywhere. I have one in my truck, I have one in my motorcycle tool roll, and I have one here. It's always with me, it's so handy, and it has saved the day on numerous occasions. So the Leatherman multi-tool. Now on to the next piece of kit and is a flash head. This particular flash head uh, I carry with me because it sits well on the camera and it's not too heavy and it doesn't throw the balance off the camera. It gives me the power that I need in the appropriate situations. And I recently captured an entire birthday party with this flash head and X100V and the pictures actually came out great. So that's the flash head right there. Um, I almost forgot actually, I also bring with me um, a this diffuser. You can actually open it up and make it into a soft box. So this would go on top of your flash and it gives you some really great diffused lighting. But then when you don't need it, it's able to fold up really nicely and, and in a compact, compact manner. So I'm doing a terrible job at folding it right now, but. So next up on the list is my dual charger. Fujifilm batteries are always dying on me. So this dual slot charger comes in clutch. It is USB powered, so I can plug it in pretty much anywhere with the, bat the, with the square, or I can actually plug it into my truck's uh, cigarette lighter. Next up is the Peak Design strap. This strap is one of the best straps that I've used. I appreciate that it extends and these ingenious release clips um, are really great. I keep these clips on all of my cameras. So the choice for me for street photography when I'm out is the Peak Design uh, strap. I also keep with me uh, an assortment of rags. I also keep a micro cloth uh, so that I can wipe down the lens. On that note, I also have a pen which allows me to uh, clean up any dust that I see. Um, and then I have the microfiber um, brush here on this side. So as far as cleaning goes, that is always in my case. And then on that same note, I have lens wipes for those harder to remove smudges. So I always keep this with me. I have with me an assortment of batteries. I have a AA battery and I also have a AAA batteries because they go out at the worst times. Now, I wanna talk specifically about this behemoth here and that's my everyday carry pouch. Now, this pouch is the backbone support for this entire kit that you see on this uh, flat lay. 
and I actually have a separate video on this everyday carry pouch because it deserves its own time. If that video is done by the time this video is up, I will pl place it up on the card. So be on the lookout for my everyday carry pouch, but it is in my camera bag. What else is there in my camera bag that I didn't mention? Um, I have some beeswax lip balm. I have my GoPro with the media mod on it. I have an Allen wrench, an extra SD card. Sometimes I'm, I'm in the middle of processing pictures and I leave the card in the computer. And then when I go out to shoot, I don't have a card. So this comes in clutch and I always put this back. Of course, I have pens and um, I have markers. I have my field notes, so this will be when I'm some downtime, jot it down, then take notes on your phone. I know some people really like taking notes on their phones. I have those moments too, but sometimes it's just nice to go ahead and jot them on real paper. So next on the list is my tabletop tripod. And that is this item right here. This tabletop tripod is always in my bag because there are times that I want to drag my shutter and I need a stable platform. So this tabletop tripod along with this swivel head when placed up here gives me a lot of versatility for setting up my uh, camera on the floor or on a solid platform. Okay, so that's it from my camera bag. Maybe this video gave you some ideas for your own bag, how to move things around or maybe switch things out. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Drop your questions and comments below and I will see you all on the next video. It is nice to see you. Uh, I'm gonna scratch that. It takes up minimal space, which, which, blah, blah, blah. blah. So I always keep this with me. And I'm not recording up there. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. Let me own for you. <clears throat> Let's do that again. Today I'm gonna talk, walk you through. Damn it. But um oh my